Yo, yo, what up, guys? I hope you're doing very well. A new raid series for me, my first ever. I did say I was going to do it, and I wanted to outline some of the rules that I've come up with that I think are going to be quite challenging, but also just make things a bit different. One is we are not allowed to go into a raid with any armor whatsoever. We can't go in with a vest, a rig, or a helmet. Well, the only thing we are allowed to really go in with is, of course, a weapon, headphones, a backpack, and a vest that allows us to have more storage as well. We are not allowed to use VoIP in any of our encounters. Uh, that is banned. And we are not allowed to ensure any of our loadouts or rigs that we go in with. So if we do die, we have lost everything we have taken in. We are on a standard edition and we will be starting on woods. I will be doing scav raids. Whatever I bring back into the inventory or stash from scav or PMC raids, if it is armor, has to be sold because again, we can't take that in. If you do have any additions or anything you wanted to sort of say in the comments, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed episode one our first raid of this raid series episode one a timmy who dreams we are on woods the aim is to find salewas and first of all not die we're going to be looking at taking it very slow and easy as you can see i've gone in quite light but some storage there for anything we need when it comes to looting, of course. The village does spawn some great loot. We could look at doing the village and then angling into Jaeger's note, which would be part of our first quest and then possibly going Yusek camp, although that might be a bit tough. We just got to be really careful, especially with not having armor i'm gonna try and vet out the situation here at village see if i can hear anyone inside especially with a pistol only we know how rough that can be welcome to the raid series thank you for for following thank you for just being a part of it i hope you enjoy and let's see how these raids go uh, it is gonna be very intense i think i'm vetting this area out hearing for sounds because one it does contain scavs, and without the armor, the scavs are going to do a lot more damage to us. We're going to play this nice and slow. Just trying to get some vision, some sound. Want to watch out for these two areas up here. If you ever go into village, I'm going to try and be as informative as possible. It's all right. There's always two scavs up. Unfortunately, we don't get the headshot. But what we do get is some time to be in the house. Get some loot. We want to watch the windows here. We are looking for a Salewa. We are going to take the bandage early wipe. We're going to go upstairs. Always want to be taking things really slow, especially if you're behind in a wipe. I hear a player, possibly. I heard sprinting. I saw someone. Yep, player. This is why I say we play slowly here. One thing you always want to think of is if I do get into a gunfight, what is my exit plan if I get roughed up? Saw someone on the edge of the fence here. Okay, he's in there. That's fine. He's in the house. That's the scav. Did the player die? I wonder if the player died. I'm unsure why the scav... ...pushed out like that. As I said guys, our main aim is to survive. Quest. 
That's the blood from my shots hitting. Rule number three. I heard grass and sprinting. I was about to take this shot at the scab. We have to be super careful here. I'm, I'm really intrigued if a player has died inside. Okay, I baited some movement out, which is what I wanted to do. I think we still have a player in here. It's alright. It's perfect. The reason why that's so good is now we get an SKS. Good. Got that kill. This also goes for our quest for eliminating scavs. Let's see if we can bait some movement here. Gonna see if I can hear anything inside. Don't. We know that there was definitely a player. Killing a lot of scavs, but at the uh, same time we are making a lot of noise. Now the one rule is, is if the armor we have is for a quest, I think we should be entitled to wear it. As I suspected, ah, uh, we have a hatchet runner. <sighs> okay, so now we know. Now we've gotten the information, we took it really slow. I think it is if you don't have a rig or armor or something like around that, you will get rushed by the scavs. So that's why, that's what happened there. Okay, that's really good. T42, that's huge. Now we can loot this freely. Well, still want to be careful. Still want to watch out for scavs. But we get some hopeful good, hopefully some good loot here. Let's check in here. HP, which is actually what we've been using. Always want to examine. Take. Even if you can't take something, you should take it just to give you your, give you more experience. But already we've gotten. The scav kills. I was wondering what happened over there. These are the two hills I'm talking about. So we want to zigzag here. The only reason I'm going back here is because I want to get the HP. 
Did I? Was there not another HP? Did I throw it out? Oh, I think I threw it. Okay, let's not worry about that. Was there one more scav up? Let's just be super careful. Close the door. Another kvass, so let's start using some of our food and water so we don't waste storage. We get an air filter as well. That's pretty damn huge. What's the best thing we can do here? Let's uh, have some peas that will give us some hydration as well. Let's drop the splint. I value stopping a bleed over a fracture a lot more. Very good so far. Some money in there. Broken LCD or LCD? Okay. Um, we can drop the bandage. We can... I might... Oh, didn't think I'd be in this scenario. Let's just drop the... Let's do that. That's way more value. That guy was a level 2. What were the chances? Bridge VX was taken in front of my eyes. Really interesting. I would love to be able to do Jaegers. I think what we can do. Oh, no. Oh, my gun. We killed him. What? Are you kidding? My... Hold on, hold on. Stay calm. Stay calm. I thought I was dead for sure. Okay, light bleeding has been stopped. I don't have a survival kit. That's fine. We've got enough utility for our hydration. What we want to do is we want to check this. Let's get that. I'm going to be coughing all the time now. I think we just killed quite a geared player. We're going to just drop that. Oh, maybe not. Level 13, still. I'm just going to check his pockets, see if he's got anything that can possibly stop. I doubt he's going to have a CMS or anything. I didn't think I'd be getting into a fight like that. To be honest. We'll see. He isn't this AK. Yeah, this is really annoying that my dude's making this um, sound. He did have a black rock though. Let's use a kvass. It'll boost it up a lot. Let's get some peas in. This is actually crazy that we want to fight like that. I'm going to use one of these so we stop coughing. And let's try and get out of here. We can go this way, I think. We get a nice little AK. I saw the blood splattering off him. I wonder if I hit him with the thorax. I'm not sure. There's no way you're still up. Oh, bro. GG's. GG's. I did not expect that, man. That's, uh unfortunate but but that was a great great start we only went in with the pistol and a bag and a vest if we got out of that raid it would have been absolutely crazy oh man it's so hard in those situations it is what it is that is tarkov that is tarkov and we kill a lot of scavs all right raid number two for us on the pmc an unfortunate end in our raid one we were stacked we had a a gun, we got a kill, we found two dog tags, we do go in with the beautiful MP5. I think we've spawned... Ah uh, yes, we've spawned on the right side of outskirts. Gotta be very careful here, take it very simple smooth, we can loot up here, but again, have to be careful. This gun is not very good. 
But we're just starting out on a mission. To be the best teamie in the wild, wild west. This is actually surprising loot here. I do like this building. I don't want to get pushed from behind as well, so... Oh... That sells for a pretty penny. Is that Sturman? That's not good if it is. That sounded like Sturman. I'm going to hug the right side here. Possibly could be Sturman up. I really don't want to die to Sturman. Running into players. I did hit him. Oh, what a bad spot. I had to spray a whole mag there. Okay, at least it, it died in a good spot, so I can loot it, f loot this scav for free. We are killing scavs pretty quickly, which is great. Nice. Scared me a bit when I didn't get the first kill. A player, level 8. Man, the MP5 kind of like... <laughs> kind of... Kind of lit! We know what we need. We need Salewas. There's one. There's two. Eat that. And... We want to be careful of that scav we heard. I'm not going to go for the Jaeger quest, I don't think. It is just over there, though. Oh, man. If we do get it, let's be extremely careful here. We know what happened last time we came here, so yeah. We unfortunately paid the price. Attempt number two. We can try and extract at UN Roadblock here. That village, by the way, that I was at, that is Uset Camp. Early wipe that is heavily contested. As you can see, it can spawn a lot of Salewas. We just got the quest item from Jaeger, which is just uh, on the left of the plane that is broken down. And you can basically use that as a bit of... Uh, map knowledge if you ever need to get Jaeger's note under that little tree house. You really want to be using your scavs as well. If you're new to this game, no matter what. If you're early level, scavs are great for money routes, food routes if you need them, if you're low on food and water. Personally, I mean, if you are looking to generate money, you are most probably playing Streets of Tarkov. I mean, Lighthouse, you can get some serious, serious uh, loot. And some serious weapons from the rogues. But it is also very, very difficult at the same time. Alright. Hopefully. We still extract. We're good so far.
Well, we extract on Woods on the second raid. We get another kill. I might just say, with the level we are, where we are currently at wipe, to get the kills we have, if we got that second guy the when we died, far out. I did hit him in the thorax, which is... So that's really, really good. Uh, we still have the ump, which I'm going to keep. We get a PP-91. We got another uh, gun here. Another PP-9. And we get some good-ish loot. Nothing too crazy. The best thing we we get here is our Soleil was absolutely huge there. All right, we are starting our third PMC raid. Onwards again, we've gotten uh, our Soleil was, we've gotten PMC kills. Let's understand where we are first. Sometimes this always tricks me. I think we're going this way by the looks of things. Oh, okay, I think we got Cottage Spawn. Outskirts again, which is not great. Not the best for us. We do need to kill one more Scav, and we also need to get the Salewas. See what happens from there. I could try and cross over and do the same thing we did before. Maybe that's the play since we're trying to go for the U-Set camp. This is very dangerous, but I'm thinking if we can pull the same thing we did last raid off. Still a bit concerned because someone would have spawned where I spawned last raid. But obviously I don't know their pathing or what they're doing. I zoom in here not to look down. I'm just looking up towards here. I'm not trying to loot at Lomba. It's just too dangerous at this point with what I have. I'm really just trying to get across the map. Go you set camp. Try and get some sca scav, the scav kill I need and the Salewa. But we do want to be careful, of course, as always. Usec is just a great looting camp. Well, there's not a guy here on the right. Oh, shit, there is a guy there on the left. Holy crap. Oh, that scared the living daylights out of me. Didn't, I didn't hear him. He would have heard me for sure. Damn. This is why you're going light because we're trying to get the Soleil was trying to get the quest done. I would say this would be close to part one done. It's, uh been eventful i would say especially the first raid that was quite intense we are in the woods raid we do get a spawn for you set camp which is good i actually never really come into woods as a scab i don't think i have done it once on my other account we do spawn in with no helmet let's see what we can do let's go to the you set camp and go from there we still are 21 minutes left in the raid, so we do have to be careful still. If this wasn't looted, I'd be surprised. I'm very scared. It looks like it has been looted. Oh, wait. The Soleil while we need is there? Wait, it hasn't been looted. Am I ready? Don't mind if I do. A hand drill. Sometimes you... You can hear these shots close to you. You gotta kind of remember what you're, you've come in for. I mean... That does just sound bloody tempting, doesn't it? Surprised this hasn't been looted. Gas analyzer, huge. All right, let's regain our stamina. Try and get full stamina before we go for our journey. All right, let's try and get an extraction. I thought that was a body for a second. I haven't done... I think Dead Man's is behind this rock for memory. I mean, it's very similar to Outskirts. But still. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first part is done there on that scav. We have had some crazy 
fight. But we have been questing, and that is whew, all that matters, really, at the end of the day. We've been taking light stuff in. I hope you enjoyed this part one. Like, subscribe, comment uh, if you have any ideas or changes or anything at all. Really enjoying playing Woods at the start, to be honest. Just really good loot. Easy scav kills, an easy way to really start off strong with your quest. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and speak to you soon.